hi guys welcome to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my journey so I have 10 self-care tips that will leave you feeling amazing choose even a few of these tips and do them consistently and you'll see your life transformed like voila or is it voila since I started my new job oh child I've been so tired but guess what I still find time to browse the addictive internet Gosh. usually I have an issue falling asleep say midnight sometimes 2 3 a.m. you get the gist last night though was different I had eight hours of undisturbed rest and I woke up feeling brand new I have 10 easy self-care tips for you today and the first one is rest rest it is so important for optimal brain and cell repair at night get your sleep doctor and just come and tell us you must sleep eight hours because of nothing it is tested it is proven i woke up this morning feeling alive rejuvenated i woke up this morning feeling like i was ready to take on the world and i haven't felt like that in a while if your mind is chaotic your environment will be chaotic as well so just try your best just try your best no matter what's going on in your mind try and ensure that you maintain a clean environment because it's kind of like a it's like a what do you call it it's kind of like a, a domino effect i'm not sure if, i'm not sure i'm not sure if i'm using the right term but if your mind is chaotic you will end up making your environment chaotic but if you can get past your mind and make your environment clean and welcoming then it will also help your mind to declutter meditate try some light stretches maybe a little light yoga i'm not going to tell you get up go to the gym every day do this do that buy some five and ten pound weights do the leg presses all those crunches all those what do you call those because i can't tell you, i'm not really i'm not really a gym person but in any case you need to do something physically daily whether it be walking for me it's i wouldn't call it yoga but i do light stretches at nights before i have my shower as i come in and before i have my shower i ensure that i stretch and bend and twist and i'm telling you it is so calming it is so relaxing you wouldn't even be able to imagine unless you unless you do it try to have candlelight showers as regularly as you possibly can that is something for my self-care that i do every single night as i come in i light my candle as a matter of fact i'll show you one i bought a pair and there's one in the bathroom see here it is It is actually a three wick or wick handle. Here it is. Mm. It smells so good. Right? So right before I shower, I as I come in, I light my three wick candle and I have it burning until I'm ready to have my shower. But before I shower, as I said earlier, I do my stretches and I also play some spa-like probably rainforest um sounds whatever it is whatever whatever it is that rocks your boat play that have a spa day whether you pay and go to a higher end whether you need to save some funds to go to a higher end spa to get a full body massage or maybe you have a husband a wife a partner anyone else that you could probably ask once you're comfortable and you could ask them for a massage and if you'd like to have a massage uh without support of anyone just grab a massage bit like i did let me show you so this is a shiatsu shoulder massager with kneading and heating but guess what i also use it for my back I actually had one prior and I got rid of it and I repurchased another. I actually had 
I actually had one prior and I got rid of it and so I repurchased another. As we speak, I am unboxing it. Here is the massage belt. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Here is the charger that it came with. And if you'd like to use it while you're driving in your car, your van, your truck, see, it has a port there for the car. Put this aside. So now I'll plug it in and I'll show you how it works. Here is the on button. Turn it on. And when you do, it lights up red. Now wherever it is that you're feeling the pain, well it's really made for your shoulders, but I also use it for my back. Did you know that negative energy lowers your vibration? Did you know that? Negative energy lowers your vibration. Did you also know that it plays a part in making you ill? Clean your energy. Clean your energy. Sometimes it's us that actually has this negative energy and we're pushing it out onto others without even realizing. And other times, it's actually the persons around us in our environment who is extremely negative and toxic. So what you do, try your best to remove yourself from that environment. But if you can't remove yourself from the environment, you have to learn to cope by going within. My next tip is date yourself. Date, yes, date yourself. Take yourself out on a nice dinner date. Not, not a brunch or a breakfast or a lunch. Take yourself out on a nice dinner date because we tend to put ourselves together more. For those of us who wear makeup, we put on our makeup, we'll do our hair, we'll dress nice, we'll spell, we will try and smell even nicer than usual. We put on our best dress as we call it in Jamaica, yeah? We put on our Sunday best as we call it in Jamaica. Take yourself out. A lot of persons say to me that they don't know how I go out alone. How can I be scared to be with me? I am always with me. So why wouldn't I want to enjoy my own company? And if I can't enjoy my own company, why would I expect others to enjoy it? So date yourself. Gratitude. Yes. As Kaffee said, gratitude is a must. Express gratitude daily. Sometimes because of the personal things that we're going through, at times it's hard for us to practice gratitude but if you find it within if you dig deep and find it within to show gratitude for even one thing daily you will see how gratitude becomes a habit and once it becomes a habit it will be hard to break it off that even when things are going awry you're still able to float above and stay on your path Keep a journal. If you keep it in, it will come out some other way. It may come out in attacks of persons that you deal with, of persons that you encounter on a daily basis. Maybe you're at home and you find yourself treating people less than, or you're at work and you find yourself doing the same, speaking to people in condescending tones. But that's because of how you feel within. You feel like a nobody. And so therefore you think everyone around you should feel like a nobody. So journal, if you don't feel like speaking to anyone, write it down, write your thoughts. For, the, for those who believe in God, write a dear God letter, right? For those who can afford therapy, go and seek counseling. But it is very necessary to get your mental health in check. Cut out the people pleasing. Cut out the people pleasing. It can't work. It's not going to bring a gun no way. If you try to please 
if you continue to try to please others before you please yourself you will end up spinning around in a circle like a headless chicken so learn to say no with your chest learn to say no with your chest no is a complete sentence you don't need to explain to nobody why you tell them no you want to go so and so no you want to do so no why i just don't feel like it it's a complete sentence and guess what the secret is the quicker you are able to accept that life has changed from the way that we knew it is the quicker you will be able to move forward in a positive way and achieve your goals that I'm hoping you have already set. The bonus tip is stop self-sabotaging. In Naga put in a way. Stop, stop self-sabotaging and try to believe in yourself a little more. Here is a very good example. So recently, a friend of mine gave me an opportunity to apply for a position that I know nothing about. For those who know the Caribbean Examination, um, the Caribbean Examinations Council, I got a grade two in a particular subject, and that was 20, almost 21 years ago. I haven't really used it since, but a position came up and me being on my journey, you know, trying to find some sort of financial independence, she decided as a senior person that she thought I was eager enough. She thought I had it in me to learn quickly and to apply, right? And so we went through and I did almost seven pages of personal statement. Now remember, you know, this is something I really don't know much about. And I sat and I brainstormed and she assisted me and we did it. And can you believe that at the last minute, I self-sabotaged? Don't let that be you. And let me tell you, the whole night I couldn't sleep. I never slept a wink that night. I stayed up and I said, I have to dig deeper. I have to find the root of this. And when I went deep within myself, I realized that because of the environment I am living in, I am sabotaged on almost a daily basis. And so because of it, my brain got wired to being sabotaged. And so I end up sabotaging myself because I got so used to doing it. So this is something that I've taken on and I've decided that no more. And so I'm working on that. So if there's something within that you know, because we always know there is something within you that is holding you back, from achieving that next step, that next goal. Take the time out, go within and root it out. I made this video today because a lot of us, like myself, have been in a slump. I, the on journey, have been in a slump, but I'm finding my way out and I'd like you to join me. If you got some value from this video, my journeys, yes, you know my journeys, I'm gonna ask you to click the like button. Then tell me about a time when you self-sabotaged and what you did to get past it, if you ever did. I am Dion Journey. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.